All right, so here's that starter project of the clock. Here it is. I gotta bring the coding in for my hour hand, minute hand, and second hand. But I gotta first find the hour hand, minute hand, second hand. So I'm gonna go up here to add actor. And I'm gonna pick one from the media library. And I think I found one in the cooking. I'm gonna use a fork a knife and a spoon. I'll bring the knife in. There it is. I'm going to add another actor. Grab that fork. And then add one more actor. I'm going to grab the spoon. Now I got them all. I'm just going to move them over so you can see them all. Let's click the mouse, grab it, click and drag, drop. Here it is. I kind of get the right size of this here. This is going to be my hour hand. So I'm going to go up to the corner. It's kind of hard to see. Kind of a small projection here. But see, I'm grabbing the cursor turns to a, like a double arrow. If I go to the corner and hover, it turns to an angled arrow. If I click the mouse and hold it and drag in, it'll shrink, shrink, shrink it. Now I'm going to grab this thing and put it right where I want it. It's a little bit long yet, so I'll go a little bit shorter. Not much. There it is. Put it right on the center of the clock. Now here's the hard part. Is if this turns, it's going to turn on the exact middle of the knife, not on the end of the knife. So i got to move the turning point from the middle to the end. Here's how that's done. Here's my knife. I can either Go to my knife's settings, get rid of my knife, or I can edit my knife. I'm going to click on the small little pencil icon and edit my knife. Nope, not that one, sorry. Up here to the gear wheel to edit my knife. And I want to go up here and I want to go to the paintbrush icon. Click that. And then we're in. Okay, here's my knife. I want to go to the one called right here. So actor's center. If I click that, you notice that's the middle right there. I don't want it there. I'm going to click the center, drag it where I want. Put it right down there, click, drag, drop. And then it's just out of camera. Oops, sorry, bring it up. There it is. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to close out of here. That one's done. Oh, put that back. Right on top there. I'm going to go to the fork. Same thing. Bring it where I want. Make it shorter. This will be my minute hand. So it's a little bit longer. Set it right where I want. Go to my gear wheel, go to the paintbrush to edit. I'm going to go to my actor's center and put it where I want it. And I'm going to save that and it's going to move. And I'll put it back where I want. And then the same thing for the spoon. Get it close. It's going to move anyway, so I put it where I want it. This is my second hand. And I'm going to go to my gear wheel. I'm going to edit the actor's center. Put that down. And then save it. Close. So I got all three of my clock hands ready to go. But I'm going to rename these. Now I go to my rename button. That's what it is. This is be called a second hand. Hit return. My knife was my hour hand. And the fork was the minute hand. So now I need to get the code ready to go to build this. Well, I want to code on this actor, code on that actor, and code on this actor. So my hints are going to be on the hour hand. 
it's going to be on start. There's going to be that code block called forever. I'm going to have the code block called turn. And I'm going to turn in a clockwise direction. And I'm going to have a wait. And it might go like on start forever. I'm going to turn a certain distance. And I'm going to wait. This is wrong and that's wrong. If I push play. Watch what happens though. It's working, but the wrong numbers. I'm going to stop that. Okay? So you got to fix these. The minute hand, same kind of coding. Second hand, same kind of coding. So good luck.